This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Le Million, a French musical comedy from director René Clair, made back in 1931. It follows an eventful day in the life of a starving artist named Michel, who owes quite an amount of money to quite a number of people. He finds no escape until learning that a lottery ticket he bought is worth a million Dutch florins, which I don't know what that is in French currency, but effectively makes him a millionaire overnight. The trouble, however, is that he has left the ticket in his jacket, and his jacket in his fiancée's apartment. Worse, she says that she's given the jacket to an elderly man to help him escape the police. When Michel finds the man, he further learns that the jacket is gone again. And from there, it becomes a wild rat race to find the jacket, the ticket, and eventually get the money. Also, it's all set to music. It may not seem like a logical combination, but the film handles it all rather well, matching the natural fantasy of a musical story with the snowballing plot structure, both growing with greater intensity as events progress. Even so, the story is paced out pretty smoothly, with no uneven bumps in its flow or any major jumps in the action. A few subplots are introduced and left relatively undeveloped, mostly for the sake of the main storyline and creating motivations for antagonistic roles. They don't add much, but they do their part to keep the story pushing forward, and at the very least what they add does have some bearing and pay off by the end. The relatively simple motivations for characters helps to simplify this, not to mention that they also keep the film's light-hearted, comedic tone consistent across its runtime. As for the musical aspect, that's also given a similar treatment. I may have missed a few things in translation, but at the very least, I can commend Le Million for being so early in sound film, and yet having songs that actually relate to the story at hand. I swear, everything else I've seen has been in a review show format. Anyways, these songs are just as jovial as the rest of the story, not quite as technically advanced as more recent musicals when it comes to development through song, but I'm not going to fault it on that. I will say that the production design does come through a bit iffy, in that set pieces are either large or elaborate, or their small, cramped, and sparse of any major decorations. Cinematography doesn't quite help in this, since it generally remains static, but editing does help to cut between a number of these little small sets, which does add variety and manages to stay consistent between cuts, and when sets do become big enough to take creative risks, the movie does so to an actual great effect. There are even a few decisions made in audio that experiment with that technical element, a nice touch for something relatively new in cinematic history. Overall, it adds up to being a great film, with an upbeat story, good music, and a unique sense of performative style and direction. Le Million, Rene Claire, 1931. Four and a half stars. I'd say to give it a watch. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. It's probably worth noting that it does require a bit of multitasking to listen to the singing and read subtitles at the same time. You get used to it, though. Well, I got used to it, at least.